Hello and welcome, this is Blockchain Bloom, the Blockchain Educator. I'm Atola Pinke and in today's video I'm going to tell you if you are eligible or not for free Uniswap tokens which just came out yesterday and many Uniswap users getting free tokens and the price is just going up you know it went up in the last 24 hours more than 100 percent so it's crazy watch this video and you will find out if you are eligible or not the second news it's all about Kraken becomes the very first crypto exchange to become a US bank I think this is also major and the third news will be about uh, Fed announcement that they um, uh, predict that uh, the interest rate will stay at zero level through 2023. So all this in today's video. And if you want to get the most important blockchain and cryptocurrency news every weekday, so every day from Monday to Friday, a brand new video, then you should subscribe to this YouTube channel, Blockchain Bloom here on YouTube. Next to it, click on the notification bell so you get the videos as soon as they out. Stay up to date with us. And you can also follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And I would like to give you a totally free course, a valuable content, uh, with valuable content. The link is right under the video uh, here on YouTube. And it's all about how to start to invest in Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies. Learn, prepare yourself for the bull market. Trust me, it's worth it. It's totally free, so you can download it. <clears throat> and now let's move on and let's see how the market looks like. So Bitcoin is at... Uh, ten thousand eight hundred eighty-five dollar at the moment, which is a zero point ninety-three percent increase. Ethereum went up uh, also right now three hundred and eighty-one dollar, which is a, a over ten percent increase. When we're looking at the top gainers, we have now Synthetic Network ten percent plus, uh, Blockstack plus eight percent, and Kusama plus 8%. When we're looking at the losers, the top one is SushiSwap, minus 14%, Hyperion, minus 10%, and ZB Token, minus 7%. <clears throat> and now it's time to move on to the main news, what we have. <clears throat> and this is that Uniswap has introduced Uni, the Uniswap token. It just came out yesterday. And, you know, now it's a big FOMO around it. Look, if we just go here, you can see it. Let's refresh the page because the prices keep changing continuously. See, now it's dropping. And uh, you can see it, that it just came out uh, yesterday and it uh, was at this price, $1.76, and it fell down. And then it went up over to $4. This was uh, at uh, 9 o'clock uh, in the morning. <clears throat> Actually, this is Central European time, what we have in here. And now uh, this one is dropping. So you could see, it, we could see it was over 100% actually. And now it, it, it's going down. So we'll see how it works. And uh, the interesting thing is that you could be eligible for free Uniswap tokens. And this is, I think, a big thing. And look, this is the one which I highlighted here with red, which can uh, be good for most of you. So 400 uni are claimable by each address that has ever called Uniswap V1 or V2 uh, contracts. This include 12,000 addresses that have only ever submitted a failed transactions. Love you guys. <clears throat> so here if you go on GitHub, here you can uh, see the say, same things. So those of you who have ever used Uniswap, you should go on Uniswap, check it out, because there should be 400 uh, Uniswap tokens waiting for you. And right now, the present price, as you could see, is $3. This could be, for you today, a $1,200 gift. You know, stimulus check, Uni stimulus. And uh, when it goes up, if it goes up, then it could be more, it could be less. You decide uh, what you're going to do with it. And uh, people can actually get more. Those of you who have uh, this one here, uh, Uni uh, Socks, and uh, here it says, those who every address that burns any socks, every address that holds at least one socks token, they get 1,000 Uniswap. 
And you can see that actually uh, one SOX token, it's quite expensive. You know, it's like right now at $1,200. But look at this. You know, when we go in max, then we can see it came out in February. Not too much happened to it. Then it was an increase and bang. Look, when we go here, this was what we could see yesterday. And now it, it was at, uh, what was that? 388. And bang, bang, bang. It went up all to $2,000. Okay. And now it came back. Obviously, many of them have received uh, a 3000 uh, Uniswap token and maybe that's why they just you know sold it quick or so this is uh, the thing here that uh, be aware of it that if so many people getting free Uniswap tokens there could be actually at the beginning at least uh, getting many tokens in circulation and many people maybe want to make money with it. So maybe they just don't want to buy extra tokens. They want to get rid of these tokens, just uh, get money. But there will be also the holders who believe, okay, maybe Uniswap will go up in long run. And it's not like, for example, Curve, which went up in a day and then it drastically fell down and stays down since so nobody knows what's going to happen with this token right now when we're looking at uh, the market cap it's 134 million dollar if we look at other ones like um i wouldn't compare it with sushi because this is sushi is a copy of uniswap this is the original one and um so the value of it value of it definitely can uh, go up uh, in the future and if you have received the free ones you know so you just simply uh, go on your Uniswap, uh, connect your MetaMask uh, address with Uniswap, and then you can claim your 400 uh, Uni tokens. You will see it immediately when you go on Uniswap that you're eligible and it's waiting for you. It, it will be up there. So whoever gets it, it's a great day, I think. Free money. And uh, second news, also a very great one, which is all about Kraken becoming uh, as the very first crypto exchange becoming the very first uh, crypto, I mean, start it again. So <laughs> Kraken becomes first crypto exchange to become a US bank, okay? And this is actually very, very uh, important. You know, we do know uh, that back in uh, July, uh, it's here, yes, July uh, letter from the US Office of the Com uh, Comptroller of the Currency giving national banks to go ahead to custody crypto. So actually they can hold crypto and serve the customers with it. This was actually a major thing which happened in the summer. It goes uh, all around the US. And now we have a crypto exchange, Kraken, which gets all these uh, important things to becoming actually a bank. And uh, that's uh, crucial because now it, it, they're actually saying it, they're focusing on uh, uh, digital uh, tools. So obviously uh, digital assets, but uh, you know, having this bank license to crypto exchange, this is a massive move forward and it can happen that more and more exchanges with uh, you know with the right license can get also uh, on this level and this will definitely just support crypto support bitcoin and it's definitely looking uh, bullish uh, for bitcoin so yeah okay that's it what i wanted to say about it Big, big, big shout out uh, to Kraken because they made it, they become a U.S. bank. And of course, you can raise the question, why is it important to be a U.S. bank? The whole uh, point with crypto, that you are your own bank and you control everything. But to be honest with you, it's not everybody. You know, there are some elderly people, for example, they might be interested in some level in crypto but with all these past phrases and everything, it's just too complicated for them. So there will be a percent of uh, the society which actually would love to use bank and having access to crypto through a bank. And of course, there's the younger generation or those who actually really enjoy this kind of freedom uh, of crypto and they will do everything uh, on their own 
the possibility is there. Probably this will be the majority, but I think there is also uh, a percentage who actually love to uh, look for a um, you know intermediary, someone who actually helps them uh, to connect uh, with Bitcoin or other cryptocurrencies. So we will see, the future will tell, but all, with all these, both options are available. And now, uh, the second news, it's uh, all about that Fed forecasts that uh, they would keep the interest rate uh, zero through 2023. And the second one is that, uh, yeah, also here the stock initially rallied on the guidance before giving up gains and bond yields rose as Powell did not promise any increase in treasury purchases as some expected. So what we can see here that um, <coughs> Fed it's a bit pulling back now. It's all about the questions, also stimulus checks. Look, Donald Trump wrote on his uh, twi Twitter side that uh, Democrats are heartless. They don't want to give stimulus payments to people who desperately need the money and uh, whose fault it was not the plunge came from uh, China, go for the much higher numbers, Republicans, it all comes back to US anyway. So basically, obviously, he's running uh, for uh, presidency again. The election is in November. He wants the people to get the stimulus uh, checks. And if these stimulus checks are coming, that this will definitely push uh, the economy. But right now, it's very interesting. Uh, Fed also realized that if the inflation goes much, much higher, over 2%, this could be actually very bad in long term. So they have to be very careful with it. And now, if they won't print that much money in the future, this will be a kind of stop for the stock market. It can happen. Then because of this, the stock market uh, starts to fall again. And now, you know, Donald Trump is also pushing now that the, the stimulus checks. It's an interesting situation and we will see how it works. Obviously, we do know that the stock market and the crypto market, it's right now uh, correlated. So if the stock goes down, there's a great chance that Bitcoin and other crypto will follow. But uh, that's what we see in the, uh, in, the, in the future. I think in long term, I'm definitely uh, bullish on Bitcoin, bullish on crypto. It can happen but because of this. Now, uh, in the next couple of days, it can be a little bit bearish trend. But we will see when the stock market opens today, how it is uh, reacting. And then we will see crypto uh, to react as well. Guys, if you like this kind of content, then smash the like button. I highly appreciate it always. And if you want to get the freshest cryptocurrency and blockchain news every weekday, so from Monday to Friday, every day, a brand new video, then you should subscribe to this YouTube channel. Hit uh, the subscribe button next to the notification bell so you get these videos as soon as they out. Stay up to date with Blockchain Bloom. And you can follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. Download the totally free video. The link is right under uh, uh, this video uh, here on YouTube. I mean, the, the free course. The free course is all about how to start to invest in Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies. A lot of valuable information. Stay up to date, learn. And this course, it's, it's really contains a lot of, lot of uh, valuable information for those who are beginners, but also for those who have started already. But maybe they have left out some safety steps. The bull market is coming. Be prepared. And of course, I'm coming back tomorrow with the freshest cryptocurrency and blockchain news. Guys, I wish you a great day. Have a good one. Bye-bye.